you're going our way. I, I'm always going your way. And Martha, you were you a social worker? I certainly was. Am I don't get paid now? Yeah, <laughs> now you just volunteer. I just do love it. volunteering. It's a passion, but it's also kind of a one lane. It's a purpose. Uh, it makes it easy to adapt to some different kind of age or some different kind of living situation because you're still helping people. You know, I meet all these people that. I wouldn't have met before that are real interesting and that I enjoy. The thing I enjoyed teaching was you got to love people. And I still get to an awful lot of learning with my adult Sunday school class. And uh, I don't want to ever quit learning, that's for sure. Hi. And you too. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. What are you up to, Money? I spent almost all day yesterday at the medical center teaching. I was made emeritus professor after I retired. So I go there to teach. <laughs> you guys, what do you think is the power behind purpose? You know, that word purpose is really important, isn't it? If you it didn't is. have a purpose oh. to get up in the morning, what would you do? If you don't have purpose, the day becomes a bore. Mind, body, and spirit. I think the three are very important to stay purposeful. Well, I've always mm -hmm. made a connection uh, between my physical activity and my emotional well-being. And I am one of the world's lucky people in that I've been able to pursue that even into my older years. There's no time to just stop and do nothing. You know, there's always things to do, it's fun it things to do. People in my life give me purpose because I ponder occasionally the pain if I were to lose some of the people in my life. In my medical school class, there were 50 of us, so we have 35 people left. We are in email communication with 35 once a week. Fabulous. That is nurturing friendships. We better spend every day we can because times change and losses occur and friends help us with losses. Yes. Well, I've promised my wife 10 years of widowhood, so I hope she's uh, prepared for this. <laughs> It was a time uh, in my life where climbing the ladder of success was important. And once you reach the top, you said, uh, what, what was it all about? Uh, yes, you need to climb the ladder, but that should not be a goal. The goal is to live fully every day. Each day is a gracious gift, a great gift. And therefore, I am content to just pour myself out into whatever that day requires. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and houses of white, the bright blessed day.